installation of Raspberry Pi software we are using Raspberry Pi 4 4 GB RAM for this lab test how to install WordPress in 10 steps step 1 is to update the software so we have to go into the CMD command line and type the following command so let me just increase the size of this window so that you can see and there is no need to copy and paste right now any of the commands or write it down because I am putting it everything, all the commands and all the 10 steps in uh, with this video in the description. So just uh, see how we are going to use this. So we are going to use sudo. Sudo is to run the commands in the administrative mode and apt get update this will take a couple of minutes uh, sometime less because this is a fresh installation it may take some time so update command will take less time than the upgrade command which we have to run next so just wait and the entire installation of wordpress is very simple as once we finish this exercise you will know that okay it's it's actually easy just you need to follow step by step and then you will end up with uh, the wordpress installation successful in your system okay so the update command is completed now we have to run the other command sudo apt get upgrade minus y okay so this command will take uh, some time so I will take a break and we will come back once this upgrade is complete so stay online so as you can see the desktop is now updated we get a message we have to install the web server that is step 2 command is sudo apt get install and we are using the apache server it will take some time depending on your internet connection stay with me uh, it is just going to be completed almost done okay so now let's quickly check whether the apache web server is configured installed properly or not let's open the web browser okay first we need to see what is the IP address for this system so run this command and you can see the IP address is 192.168.0.110 this is what we are going to use 192.168.0.110 and if you are seeing this page that means the apache server installation is successfully completed we can close this window and move on to the stage step 3 so now we will install the mariadb server and mariadb client Server M A R A A T P dash client minus Y. So let's wait for the installation and then we will start the MariaDB services and see the status of it it will not take much time maybe a minute from now it 
let's start the services with this command the services are restarted now we will check the status of it so let's change okay so it's working next is to install mysql so command is sudo mysql secure installation current password there is no current password so press enter now set root password yes will ask for a password put the password which you can remember re-enter it the password is set now remove anonymous users yes definitely disallow root login yes and remove test databases access yes root privilege tables yes and that's it Now, what we need to do is install PHP. So let's clear this and sudo installing PHP. So in the previous command, we will end up installing the database setting up the root command for database and now we are installing php that is the uh, programming language which we are going to use so once this is installed we have a couple of more settings to do with respect to apache 2 and php because they both share index file so when you install web server apache it will create a file called index dot html and when you create php uh, it will create a file called index.php and both are exec uh, can be executed through the uh, ip address to check whether the web server is running or not and by default it will take the html as preference so we will see uh, how to remove that index.html and then replace it with index.php so that whenever we start the web services uh, it will hit .php file because we are using php so php is installed so now what we need to do is we need to download wordpress and let's see how we can do that so go to web browser type wordpress.org get wordpress download the zip file it will take a couple of seconds it's a 12.6 mb file and it's a zip file so once it is downloaded we need to unzip it so it's done show in folder here it is double click and extract and we can extract it to any folder we want we are going to extract it in the download folder done yes so we have this folder under download so what we need to do is go back to the command line so let's close this browser We'll come back here change the directory where we have downloaded the file that is boot by let's check where we are okay so change directory to 
downloads and do we have wordpress yes so change directly to wordpress and let's check whether all the files are there yes now we have to copy these file to var.www.html so the command is sudo copy minus r star means all the files to var.www.html folder okay so files are there now change directory to HTML and we'll see do we have all the files yes good so now as I said we need to we have two files as you can see index.html and index.php so we need to remove the index.html file the command is sudo remove index dot html so again if we check oh, there is no index dot html file okay let's move on to the next one that's for php so let's clear this screen and install the connectors for php I made a mistake. This will not take much time. It's hardly take 60, 70, 50 seconds. <laughs> Less than a minute. Most of the time. So it's creating the config files for PHP. Almost done. Yes. Now we have to restart the web server that is the Apache 2 server which we have and sudo system control that is systemctl start Apache 2. Okay, let's see. This time when we open, uh, what will happen? So 192, we are putting the IP address. And good. You can see, you can see that the WordPress page is open. Okay, but there is one more command which we need to do before processing on installing the WordPress. And that command is So now you are, uh, you may ask that why we are using this command. We are changing the access, read write access for these folders. Uh, this is with www uh, data uh, user, and it is now going to change for var www because when WordPress is going to install the files, uh, WordPress need these access. Okay, so that's why we are changing the. Okay, so it's changed now. And now we can go back to our web page and select let's go okay so now it is asking for a database name username password and the host is local host so we need to create a username in our database and a password in our database how to do that we have to go back to a command line clear the screen and type this sudo mysql 
minus u minus p. So I hope you remember the password you entered while creating the database. If you do enter the correct password, you will end up with the MariaDB prompt. And now you have to create a database first for WordPress. Within the database, you have to create a space for WordPress. That means so create database. So we are creating a database in the name of WordPress only so that we can easily recognize that. Enter. Okay. This is done. We want to sh uh, see if it is created. Yes. We have one database here, WordPress. So now we have to create the user. So see, create user, and you can give uh, any name. I am giving it as admin. At the rate and. and ID and FID identified by a password. So you have to type a password for this. Okay. That's all. We have the username and the password. Now we have to grant access, admin access to this, administrative access to this user. And for that, we need to type Grant all privileges on WordPress. This is the database to the user that is admin for us. Done. Now exit. Now we have to go back uh, for database name is WordPress as you mentioned username we put it as admin password and then submit run the installation that means you are done WordPress is installed you have to put your site name so I'm putting my site name. You have to create a username for this one. Put in the same username. Login. And you have your first site available. You can go and change the appearance, change the theme, and do whatever work you want to do with this. So now if I go and check what I have in this IP address, we have our site. Okay, good. Thank you very much. For watching this video if you have any questions just let me know in the comments column and do subscribe and like and share my channel please thank you have a good day